once you have decided to have surgery, you'll be scheduled for a pre-operative screening visit. Good morning. Good morning, how are you doing today? Doing fine. May I see your driver's license and insurance card? Yes. For this appointment, you'll need a current driver's license or government-issued photo ID, insurance cards, including any supplemental coverage you may have, any consents your surgeon may have given you, a list of current medications, including doses and frequency. These include herbal, vitamins, aspirin, eye drops, and any other over-the-counter medications. During your appointment, you'll meet with someone from our pre-admission team. They'll ask you about any allergies you may have, as well as your previous experiences with anesthesia, such as nausea, vomiting, or perhaps being slow to wake up. We'll also review your vital signs and medications. Once the pre-anesthesia interview is complete, you'll be given information on how to prepare for surgery. Your safety is our top priority. We'll provide you with instructions on what medications you can and cannot take in the days before and the day of your surgery. Also, we'll give you a special soap that you're to use prior to surgery. This product will help decrease the amount of bacteria on your skin and reduce the chance of infection. Hello? The day before your surgery, a member of the surgical team will call you with key information about when you should arrive at the hospital and where exactly you should go once you get there. If your surgery is scheduled on a Monday, we'll call you either Friday or Sunday. In the 72 hours before your surgery, we ask that you don't shave with a razor blade around the planned surgical area. On the day prior to your surgery, please do not have any food or drink after midnight. Having any food or drink may risk canceling your surgery. Please remove all makeup, jewelry, and nail polish. Remember to review all other instructions you were provided about your medication and how to prepare for surgery. A question we often are asked is, what items should I bring to the hospital with me and what items should I leave at home? Here's what you should bring. Your current health insurance card, a driver's license or government issued photo ID, legal documents such as your living will and health care power of attorney, a list of your medications with doses and frequency included, personal hygiene products and supplies, glasses, dentures, or any devices like hearing aids that help you with your daily living, a CPAP if you use one, any mobility assistive devices like crutches or a walker, supportive shoes with backs, and loose fitting clothes to wear home. You may also wish to bring books and magazines, as well as your phone. Duke, however, isn't responsible for the safety of these items. You'll need a method of payment for equipment and or medications for discharge. We suggest the person who accompanies you to the hospital hold on to your method of payment to cover any of these potential copays. Here's what you should not bring. Valuables, including jewelry or large amounts of cash. Medication bottles, unless instructed to do so. Unsteady shoes like flip-flops. Alcohol or recreational drugs. Cigarettes or other tobacco products, since Duke is a tobacco-free environment. And finally, do not bring firearms.